Hello everyone. <coughs> this is our part theory of the AC circuit. In this uh, lecture, I am going to discuss about the average power. Average power. So calculation of average power. Average power. I have already seen in part uh, one of this video, uh, whose lecture is also, uh, whose link is also shared here. So in that uh, I have seen for full uh, AC uh, input, I average is zero, V average was also zero, but I RMS was I M by root two and V RMS was V M by root two. V M is the maximum value or peak value. I M is the maximum value or peak value. So uh, here I'm going to discuss one very important part that current is average value is zero, voltage average value is zero, but average value of power is not zero. That we are, uh, I'm going to discuss here. So let us see how we can find, let us define I equal to I m sine omega t and V equal to V m sine omega t plus alpha. Let us define like this. So this, this, these are the instantaneous value of the voltage and uh, current. So these are two equation of uh, instantaneous value of voltage and current. So we have now to find out the average value of the power. That is very important part of this AC circuit. So P average as already defined for current as well as for voltage, it is one by T. 0 to t i power is i multiplied by v into d omega t. Every time I am writing the same equation, this is called average value. So now just put the instantaneous value of current and instantaneous value of voltage, we will get the average value of the power and it is 1 by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi I is given as I m sine omega t and uh, voltage is given as V m sine omega t plus alpha and multiplied by d omega t. This is our equation of the average power. So now we have to calculate this integration and let us see what we get. This alpha is called already defined in part two of the lecture. That uh, link is also shared here. So alpha is called uh, phase difference between voltage and current. It is the means key. Uh, the frequency of both the wave is same, but magnitude of this is decided by the magnitude of the current and it is decided by magnitude of the voltage. And alpha decides that after uh, what is the difference between phase when they start uh, uh, conducting. So now uh, to calculate the average value, uh, P average, it is written like this, P average is one by two pi. And uh, I'm taking common IM and VM. So it is zero to two pi. Now, how much it is coming? Sine omega T into sine omega T plus alpha into d omega t. So here we see it is a product of sine A into sine B. So we cannot uh, integrate it. So we have to convert into plus or minus. So just we multiply two here and divide two here. Now this relation we will get Vm Im by 4 pi and sign of integration will be from 0 to 2 pi. And uh, as we know that uh, sign A into sign B, just a formula I'm writing here, sign A to sign A into sign B, which is equal to cosine A minus B minus cosine A plus B. This is the formula for two sine A into sine B. This formula we have to use. 
So in place of A, omega t is there. In place of B, omega t plus alpha is there. So using this relation here, we will get cos A minus B, this minus this. So omega t will be cancelled out and minus cos alpha and plus cos alpha will remain the same. So it will look like this, d omega t minus cos A plus B, this plus this. So it will be cos twice omega t plus alpha into d omega t. And uh, here also sign of integration is 0 to 2 pi and this whole part is taken common. So this is our integration. Now you see here, this is a periodic function and I have told you in part one of the lecture. So the average value of any periodic function, if it is integrated over its period, its value becomes zero. So if we integrate this, it will be simply zero. You can do it, you can check it and you can integrate it. Alpha is constant here. So this cos alpha is constant. It will be taken out from the integration. So P average, this is V M I M by four pi and uh, cos alpha is taken out here, zero to two pi and D omega T. So now this term we will see here, D omega T integration will be omega T and putting the limit 0 to 2 pi. So it will come finally 2 pi. So I'm writing here Vm multiplied by Im divided by 4 pi into cos alpha into 2 pi. So from 2 pi to 2 pi here, it will be cancelled out. So it will be our average value of power will be P average will be equal to Vm I m by 2 and 2 is written as root 2 multiplied by root 2 cos alpha and its unit will be watts. So we can write this Vm by root 2 that is this value is called RMS value of the voltage and this value is called RMS value of the current. So we will write it VRMS into IRMS into cos alpha this is called P average, average value of power and its unit is watts. So this is the value of power which we are consuming in our home. Like if we, if we use a fridge, washing machine, TV, etc. the real power which we consume and we pay the bill for electricity, that power is average power. This power is also known as active power. This power is also known as P average. It is also called active power. It is also called real power. It is also called real power. And the term here cos alpha, which we got here, this is called power factor. Power factor. Suppose if our load is, I will discuss later also, suppose our load is uh, load, suppose load, whatever we are using in our homes, suppose our load is purely resistive, purely resistive, then cos alpha will be one, means alpha is zero. Alpha is zero means voltage is going in this direction and current is also going in the same direction means there is a no any phase difference between voltage and current so alpha is zero and cos alpha is unity another term i had defined like this is called q and it is called reactive power reactive power which is nothing but it is equal to vrms into irms into sin alpha here the term is vrms and irms both are same but sin alpha is used here and its unit is it is measured in var this is called volt and this is called ampere and this is called reactive 
actually this is the reactive power and the reactive power is basically consumed by or supplied by reactive power which element capacitor inductor and power electronics devices power electronic devices these are the basically source of reactive power that is why you have a study in class 12 that inductor produces wattless power the reason behind is that wattless means voltage and current is here 90 degree phase difference alpha equal to 90 so wattless power what is our watt unit vrms into irms into cos 90 this is called watt and cos 90 is zero so this is zero that is why it is called zero watts but if we use this relation q reactive power q equal to it is not zero here it is maximum vrms into irms into sine 90 sine 90 is one so this value is the maximum value so that is why q becomes here vrms into irms and this is called reactive power and reactive power is produced by the which element capacitor and inductor not by resistor resistor uh, pod resistor never produce reactive power so this p and q are called p is called real power and q is called reactive power we are not paying for using this power but we are penalized if we have large reactive power then due to this uh, q we have we are penalized if reactive power is more we will be penalized one more term i am going to uh, discuss uh, uh, that is uh, uh, the thing that is called power triangle so power triangle i am just uh, going to draw suppose this is our p real power on x axis and on y axis it is q and uh, it is connected like this this is called s s is called apparent power apparent power it is also called complex power this is also called complex power complex power so a complex power it is also called complex power because s is summation of p plus jq s is summation of p plus jq and j is here as you have studied in class 12 mathematics complex number is written like 3 plus suppose 4i this is a complex number same way it is a complex number so it's a magnitude if uh, want to find it will be equal to p a square plus q a square and p is vrms into irms into cos alpha plus q is vrms into irms into sin alpha so we have to square it and also we have to square it and we have to take its square root also so by doing this we will get the value of s equal to vrms into irms and its unit will be volt ampere volt ampere voltage it is volt it is in ampere so its unit is volt ampere so this s is this is called power triangle this is called power triangle so power triangle is and this angle in fact it is nothing but it is the alpha that is called power factor angle so later part we will see in next video